from a bowl of soup to the world, the Ebola virus disease, an infectious and fatal illness marked by hemorrhagic fever and severe internal bleeding, has claimed the lives of more than 11,300 people during the 2014 outbreak in Western Africa. Just like EVD, diseases such as malaria, Lyme disease, MERS, SARS, bird flu, and their recent COVID-19 all have one common denominator. They are all products of what we call zoonotic spillover, the transmission of a pathogen from a vertebrate animal to a human host. Zoonotic spillover events are directly linked to environmental change and human behavior, the disruption of our ecosystem driven by illegal logging, mining, rapid urbanization, among other disruptive human activities, create the conditions for new viruses and disease to emerge. Unbeknownst to others, the changes that us humans are making to the environment are likewise inflicting a negative impact on human health. This discipline has further evolved over the years and has taken shape to what we now know as planetary health. Now, you're probably wondering, what exactly is planetary health? Coined by The Lancet, Planetary health refers to the health of human civilization and the state of natural systems on which it depends. It provides a better understanding on the relationship between human health and the environment. Simply think of it this way. When we don't properly dispose our garbage, it will inevitably clog and pollute our waterways, which can lead to flooding during heavy rains. In the aftermath, people may suffer from floodborne diseases such as leptospirosis and cholera. In that sense, the environment clearly has an undeniable impact on human health. However, such impact can also be traced back to human activities that interfere with the environment itself. Human footprint have shown to destabilize the natural ecosystem, causing climate change and global warming. This in turn threatens every dimension of human health there is. A declining ecosystem would mean decreased agricultural yields, low nutritional quality of crops, and limited access to food all of which disturbs the global food system, which is important for human health and survival. From 1960 to 2010, the WHO have recorded a 30-fold rise in mosquito-transmitted diseases such as Zika and Dengue in urban settings. While according to the CDC, three out of four emerging infectious diseases come from animals. If there are sudden changes in water temperature, the Vibrio cholerae can thrive and be transmitted easier. So, if we want to lead healthy lives, we need our planet to be a healthy home. We can start by reducing our waste and lowering water consumption. To give ourselves cleaner air and avert dangerous heat waves, we must switch to clean and renewable energy. To protect our forests and prevent the birth of another pandemic, we must push efforts for biodiversity conservation. To better protect ourselves from diseases and be healthier, we must diversify our diets with more fruits and vegetables. and engage in physical activities. Our health depends on the well-being of our planet. And the well-being of our planet depends on us. At, At the, the end, end of the day, day it's, it's all about, about ensuring that Earth is a healthy home for humanity. humanity.